Microsoft Copilot is here and I've been seeing what it can do to boost productivity, streamline workflows and ultimately change the way that we work. The powers and capabilities of Copilot are so vast that when you first start to use it, it can seem a bit daunting. So today we're going to walk through 10 practical ways in which you can use Microsoft Copilot to start to change the way that you work. Starting off with number one, recap the meeting. I've just had an online meeting to discuss how we might approach marketing a new product. Copilot can be used after the meeting to recap everything that was discussed, who said what, list key points and give you a succinct list of actions to take away. You can even ask Copilot to send an email to all participants with a summary. To do so, all you need to do is enable transcription at the start of the meeting. Then, when the meeting is over, head to the Recap tab and open Copilot. You'll be given some standard prompts, though I've asked Copilot to summarise this meeting for me and then list some actions. Number two, summarise an email thread. So we're here in Outlook and I have an email thread which is getting longer and longer. At the top here, you can click Summarise and Copilot will pick out the key parts that have been discussed including who said them, a brief timeline of events and any action points. This is particularly useful for those long email threads that you enter at a later date and need to quickly understand everything that has been discussed without having to read through everything. This is one of those small time savers that will add up over time. Now we're going to use Copilot to draft a new email. This can be used to put together any kind of email to any recipient, though here I'm letting my manager know that the project I've been working on is now complete. I've included a few key pieces of information that I want the email to include in the prompt. I'm also telling Copilot to keep it short and casual. Over time, Copilot learns the way you write and will imitate your writing style. This is only a short email, though you can see where it's going. I can then use additional prompts to tailor the length and tone of the email. Number four is to summarize a document. Copilot extends across all your core Microsoft apps. So similarly to how we used Copilot to summarize an email thread, we can now use it to summarize a document. I'm using it here to pull out the key points in a short script for a new product launch. This will help my collaborators to understand the key messaging, features and benefits of the product. Previously, I might have written a product brief for my team, though I'm able to use an existing piece of work to generate this with AI to save time and ensure that our messaging is consistent throughout all of our assets. Summarising a document can be incredibly useful for all departments, for example scoping documents, proposals, policies. And you'll find this more useful on longer form docs. Next, we're using Copilot Business Chat, which is a new feature, to do some research on a new upcoming product. Business Chat is a powerful part of Copilot. It integrates with your Teams app and acts as your personal AI assistant. I'm asking Business Chat here to tell me about Starlink to do some preliminary research on the product. Traditionally, we might have just used a search engine to gather this information. Though what's unique about Copilot is that it references the Microsoft Graph, which is your business's network of users, files, messages and more, to combine public information with specific information relevant to your business to give you further insight and context into the topic. Here we can see that we began engaging with the product in 2021, which is referenced in a document. You can of course lock this down and set user privileges so only permitted information is being referenced by Copilot. What's also great about using Copilot for research are these recommended prompts at the bottom. I can very quickly build an extensive piece of research that's short and snappy with just a few clicks. I think this particular feature can be really beneficial for businesses looking to save time and boost productivity. Now we've done our research, we can use Copilot to start generating some ideas. I'm using Copilot here to give me some ideas for social media posts, but the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. 
Let's jump back into Word and use Copilot to generate a video script around this new product. Copilot can be accessed in the toolbar, or you can click this small icon which follows you around to open it up. I'm going to prompt Copilot to write me a video script. There's almost an art to your prompt because the more defined you are, the closer the document will be to your finished product. And now we have the foundations of a script. It's worth pointing out that for more specific tasks you'll want to tweak what you're given by Copilot to really meet your requirements. Though this is an absolutely brilliant way to get past that blank canvas feeling and give yourself a head start with whatever kind of document you are putting together. My inbox is full at the moment with all sorts of different projects and topics. I have a few projects looming at the back of my mind so I'm going to use business chat here to ask what a specific person said about a topic to bring me up to speed. Business chat references emails, teams messages, files and meeting notes to collate a short update about the topic. Now, rather than having to reach out to the person for a meeting or wait for a response, I have an instant update. Copilot isn't just good for generating text, it can also give you suggestions to reword sentences and rewrite entire documents. Perhaps I don't like the way this paragraph is written. I can copy it out and ask Copilot to rewrite it for me. Alternatively, I can also highlight the text and click rewrite with Copilot for more suggestions. Finally, working with people who speak different languages is much more common these days. English may not be someone's preferred written language. You may receive an email or a document in a language you don't understand. You can use business chat to translate it into your preferred language, plus you can translate anything you'd like to send back. This works the same as any regular translator tool, though it hooks into your emails, messages and files so you can reference specific pieces of text. And those were my top 10 use cases for Microsoft Copilot to get you started. These only scratch the surface of what Copilot is capable of. To learn more, join one of our free webinars on AI readiness and Copilot strategy, available on our website. Thanks for watching and I hope these tips help.